Jeffrey Cross, a.k.a. OG Luke, is without a doubt the biggest joke in GTA history. The business, as well as Jeffrey's sketchy background, is what we are here to cover on today's episode. Jeffrey was born sometime in 1972 and had lived in Los Santos, specifically in Grove Street. Like a lot of other GTA characters we have mentioned, there are, has been a lot of knowledge about one's parents. And with that, we don't know about OG Loke's parents. While Jeffrey lived in Grove Street, he did become friends with seven members from Grove Street. Two of the seven were Big Smoke and Sweet Johnson. As Jeffrey Cross got older, he began going by OG Loke. Sometime around 1989 or 1991. Let's keep in mind, that Cross is a very skinny guy, so with that, he doesn't have capabilities as other gangsters, but still has that gangsta mentality. Let's watch the cutscene when Big Smoke and Sweet give Loke a pep talk. Oh man, man that shit will blow over. Oh, it always does. Man. man, who ever heard of a gangster rapper called Jeffrey? Hey, man? Jeffrey, oh, Jeffrey, man, get, get the hell out of here, game, with man. Come on, OG Loke. And that's a gangster name, man. Like Sweet or Big Smoke. Jeffrey, you ain't no gangster. Man, you ain't never put in no work for the set. You a friend, but you ain't no gangster. Man, I'm for real, homie. For real. Okay, cool. Now kick rocks. You messing up my game. You know what? I'm gonna prove y'all how real I am. Watch me. Hey, Jeffrey, go to college, man. Make something of yourself. Me and a fat man, we mess our lives up. We fucked up in the game, man. We products of the environment. Don't be an idiot, man. Make us proud. Do shit different, baby. But I'm a gangster rapper. It's my calling, homie. Look, man, do whatever you want. <laughs> but get the fuck out. Nah, man. Go be a gangster someplace else, baby. <laughs> get your... This ain't a fucking... As we just heard, Sweet wanted Cross to leave the ghetto and go off to college. Now, this is the best piece of advice that could have been given to Jeffrey. To the point where... Sweet saw potential and a future for Loke. Sometime in 1991, OG Loke started to commit crimes. Not just ordinary crimes. Oh, wait, what? Check my back pocket. What? This just in, ladies and gentlemen. They are ordinary crimes, a like petty theft and parking tickets. What the hell, man? I mean, that is an absolute joke, am I right? Jeez. With all of this, Cross went to prison, where he would meet his cellmate, Freddy, a soldier in the Vagos gang. During Luke's jail time, he was molested by Freddy and constantly tormented. We enter 1992 and the protagonist, Carl Johnson, is selling back in Los Santos. And finding work where he meets up with his brother, Sweet Johnson, and friend, Big Smoke. We can safely mention that Jeffrey had got out of prison one week after Freddy made bail. Let's look at the cutscene where we meet OG Loke. Hey, did that fool go? Look at this fool, man. Perchate like he banging. Think he hard. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I know that fool can't be serious. Hey. What's happening with you, Jeffrey? Hey, man, it's OG Loke, homie. OG Loke! Ah, uh, ah, uh, my bad. How was it, though, homie? Man, what you think? How was it? 
Hey, chill out, dude. So what you want to do now? Man, I got to kill some chola motherfucker. He was dissing me, man. Hey, Jeff, I thought you was going to, uh, college. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck you. Motherfucker done stole my rhymes. He's in East Flores. Hey, give me a strap. Man, won't you stalls out with that shit to get in the car? Fool. CJ takes Loke to Freddy's hideout, where Loke goes in a high-speed chase. When Loke and Carl wipe out Freddy, CJ pokes fun at Loke, then takes him to Burger Shop. As Jeffrey works at Burger Shop, he wants to become the best gangster rapper of San Andreas. So, OG Loke needs a sound system and asks Carl for help. Let's watch the introduction cutscene of Life's a Beach. Looking real technical, gangster. Carl, <laughs> you ain't run off again yet? No, gangster. I'm here for good. Yeah? Well, fuck this gig, man. I'm putting together a listening party for my album. But first, I need a sound system. Hey, I'm down as long as I don't have to go to the port. What you talking about, fool? Guaranteed I start playing, everybody will come through. Being real OG, I really ain't into rap no more. I'm more into that hardcore gangster shit. Well, that's me, homie. That's me, OG Loke, baby. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I only like them if they rhyme real well. You know, well, anyway, what you want me to steal? That's what I'm talking about. Love for your homies. Now check it. I caught me a real fly sound system, cruising through the drive through I think they headed down to the beach for a beach party. Now check this out. I'll roll with you, and on the way, I can get a couple of freestyles. It's OG Loke in the place. You don't want to stop me with a gun in your face. Yeah, 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 OG, yeah, man. Look, OG. shut the fuck up. Maybe I need to do this on my own. I believe in you. Gangster for life, homie. For life. Yeah, for life, homie. <clears throat> After that, CJ returns to Burger Shot, and Carl is tasked with a job that could ruin another rapper's career. Let's watch the beginning cutscene to Mad Dog's Rhymes. <laughs> It's OG Loke, homie, and I'ma kick a little something like this. Hey, yo, when I come through up in the place, you don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit it hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I... sucks. Damn. Damn, my shit was whack. Hey, what's happening, Loke? Hey, Carl, what up, man? Hey, dude, you ever thought about getting a writer to help you out with this shit? Yeah, I did. But who, homie? Who? Shit, I ain't in the rap game. You know, that ain't my thing. But, um, we have to think about something. Man, how about if I get somebody to write something for me, only they didn't know about it? What? <laughs> I think I just might have found a dose writer. I become the reciter, all nighter, all writer. <laughs> Mad Dog's rhyme book from his home in the hills. Mad Dog's rhyme book? Man, you said you helped, Carl. Come on, man. I'm hot like fire all night. Hey, all hey, right. hey, hey, I'll do anything, homie. I swear that. Okay? As we just heard, Loke has Carl steal Mad Dog's rhyme book, but it doesn't end there. OG Loke also tasks Carl to kill Mad Dog's manager which cripples Mad Dog's career. Well, OG Loke is fired from Burger Shot. Let's see the scene. Hey, fuck you, man! And I don't care what you heard! I ain't nobody's ass technician, bitch! Hey, hey, what's up, Loke? Technician ain't gangster. That's what's up. I heard that. Listen, Carl, if I'm going back to a cell, I want to have a big party first. 
This may be my last chance to get her. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, I'm gonna slide back over to Grove Street and get those sounds boom bass and fantastic. All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to get ready for the park and get some girls, man. Okay. Get some real fly girls, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The ones in the bikinis and uh -huh. shit in the videos. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I told you, brother, I'm the chronicle of our struggles. The voice of the family's like Moses, only keeping it real. You said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As her, Loke is out of a job, and before he has to go back to prison for violating his parole, he wants to have a party back at Grove Street. Now, OG Loke has Mad Dog's rhyme book. Loke came out with an album, which would be his only album. By the time Carl is in San Fierro, he tunes in the WCTR and listens to Entertaining America with Laszlo. Let's hear this great interview. Welcome to Entertaining America. This is Laszlo. <laughs> I gotta say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years, <laughs> just unemployed. But I am back, running the media. God, I love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here is so laid back and <laughs> lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. <laughs> it's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock! It's OG Loke, OG Loke. You hear me, player? Yes, of course. I hear you. You're only a few feet away, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. H how you living? Straight. Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, <laughs> it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. <laughs> so, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the Louisiana Purchase. Straight. You know the French sold us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our tits. My point exactly. Yeah! We need more naked liberty. Exactly. Look. I'm no rapper, even though I dress like one, but I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, ba da ba 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wooden teeth. You see, my clothing company, Loke Down, home of the G, says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. In a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Laszlo. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking, too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I could spit on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I warned you. I got the streets. I got a rep. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gangbanging since I was three. Ice cold killer. <laughs> Excuse me, gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room while you're. Ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. From now, it's about making words rhyme, and I'm going toe to toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. Well, you know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mark-ass bitch, punk, trick, buster, fool? Look, I don't I don't know what you said, but uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You's a buster, fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. 
including dudes. I'll pimp anything. You hear me? Oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? Uh, no, 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 dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. Wh whatever that is. D dude, put, put the gun away. Don't diss my strap. I love your strap. You're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. But please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? <laughs> Only too well. <laughs> that was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. Despite Big Smoke's judgment, he is now OG Loke's manager, and Loke has stabbed Sweet and Carl in the back while joining Smoke. Mad Dog and Carl are tired of Luke's crap, and with Dog realizing Luke's rhymes are from Dog's rhyme book, Carl takes Mad Dog to steal his rhyme book back, which follows in a very long chase, starting off with hover boats and ending the chase with go karts. Let's see what happens right after this. It's great. You phony! Ah! Man, you can't prove nothing. Hey, Jeffrey, you a buster, straight bitch. You stabbed me and my brother in the back. Man, I'm an artist. We all make mistakes. Ain't that right, Alki? You ain't no artist. You's a buster. You's a fake. Man, I was going to give you credit on the next album. Man, royalties, take that. I got Look, more bitch, too. Bitch, I should smack dog shit out your ass. <laughs> Just don't Break your me. face yeah, right here, motherfucker. you fucking phony. <laughs> Mr. Dog, Jimmy Silverman, blasting fools records. Hold up, I'm the manager. You want to talk? Talk to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pleasure, gentlemen. Let's the talk, all right? Butt your ass. I need hits. I mean hits. Now, what about this guy? This uh, phony. I've got a good mind to sue his ass into next year. Man, get off me, you drunk. Hey, Lo, go get us some lunch. You get lunch. Excuse me, gangster. I don't think so. Man, get out of here. Don't, don't be pushing me. Don't be pushing me. OG Loke lost the rhyme book and got sued in the process. With Loke's manager, Big Smoke, now being dead, this marks Loke's music career to be over. But in an alternate universe, he is on the Vinewood Walk of Fame. I don't know how that guy did it, if you guys are asking me, because I just don't know. As we stated and confirmed, OG Loke is the biggest joke and the biggest wimp the series has ever seen. Loke could have stolen the rhyme book himself, or even killed Freddy himself. Then when it came time for Mad Dog to step up the Loke and cross Chicken Dow. But what is still on one's mind is why Carl or even Mad Dog didn't kill Jeffrey. Mad Dog never killed Jeffrey because his career was back on track. Carl didn't kill him because Loke just wasn't worth it anymore. And even if Loke told somebody about what happened, nobody would believe him because he is a hack, he's a joke, he's a liar, and he's a wimp. Thank you all for watching this episode of Character Analysis. We got Woozy coming up on the next one. That man, one of my favorite characters in the series. I know maybe it could be some of your guys' favorites. So we'll see how it comes out. So until next time, take it easy, everyone.